so i would suggest try to go topic wise try to cover uh, uh, a lot of depth in important topics uh, do some contests on code forces or uh, code chef and stuff because it gives you that time pressure uh, that you will find in coding uh, also make sure you always check the solution to see the best method so even though you might have passed all the test cases uh, for a particular question Hello everyone, welcome to IC2C's podcast series. Today we have Ms. Sondara Krishnan with us. She is a final year undergraduate of Bits Pilani Goa campus and she is pursuing physics and computer science there. And she has she did his thesis at MIT Media Labs and Microsoft Research India. And she has also did summer internship last year at Uber. So hi Sondara, how are you? Hi, thank you very much for having me over here. Yeah. So Sondara, if I missed something, can you tell us something more about yourself? Uh, so I'm very interested in how we can use uh, technologies uh, for, for purposes like healthcare and how it can be deployed in uh, real world settings. Uh, on a more casual side, uh, I really enjoy music and I can often be found humming songs to the annoyance of my friends. And I've recently uh, started enjoying cooking and uh, fitness thanks to the lockdown. Yeah. Well, that's very interesting. And moving forward, and guys, this is our another video in the series of internship. Our your videos already are chuti, go for I button to mil jayegi. And in this video, we will be going to discuss about how did she applied for Microsoft and what was the project. And she also did internship for Uber as she told in the introduction. And so we will be discussing about her experience of coding around at Uber, her experience of interview around at Uber. And finally, Sundar, Sundar will give you guys some tips and tricks to rock the interviews. So moving forward, Sundar, can you please tell us how did you apply for Microsoft? So um, the way that I applied uh, for Microsoft Research India was um, I went to their website and I looked at what the various research scientists scientists at the lab were working on. I shortlisted a couple of scientists whose research areas overlap with uh, my research interests. And um, uh, I emailed one such uh, researcher with my CV, whatever I had done so far, uh, what I was interested in working on, and how that overlapped with what the researcher was working on. So I got a positive response from one scientist, and he was kind enough to have a chat with me. We discussed details of some of my relevant projects, and then I was given a research task uh, related to a software di- library that Microsoft Research was working on. So I ran that um, I ran that library for my own data set and found some limitations as well as uh, future uh, courses of work using that library. I also made uh, I also attempted to analyze and formulate some research questions that could be uh, like extensions of that library and uh, so that that was like my research task. Uh, so once I was done with that, I sent my findings again to the scientist, and he uh, uh, and we had another meeting to discuss uh, whatever I had sent. So we started discussing some specific projects that were um, uh, of interest uh, to both of us, as well as like some logistical concerns, like from when to when I'd be available and things like that. So. After that, um, uh, a week later, I got an email from him saying that I had been selected, and after that, I got an offer letter from the HR. Okay, so that's how you applied from Microsoft. And moving forwards, yeah. uh, Sundara, can you tell us like what was the project you worked worked on? So uh, at Microsoft, I had broadly two projects. One was on the more, uh, one was on the side of software, and the other one was more research oriented. So, my software pro- project involved uh, uh, making updates to the Dice Python library, which is an open source library um, by Microsoft Research. So, my work involved uh, adding features to it, uh, making it work on different uh, machine learning models, uh, sorting out some issues that were raised by users. Uh, raising pull requests to satisfy all of these uh, uh, code review for other people's code and so on and so forth. So uh, that was my software. Uh, uh, side, that was on the software side of things, and on the more research side of things, we were looking at building uh, a new feature attribution method that used ideas from causal inference. And uh, yeah, so this is a work in progress. Okay. 
Okay, so that was the and Sondarya, you also did internship yeah. at Uber, la Uber last year. So can you share your experience of Uber? Like, what was the experience of a coding round? So uh, in our university, uh, Uber had uh, a, a, a first shortlisting coding round, after which we were shortlisted for the interview. So for the coding round, uh, we had uh, three questions uh, that had to be solved in one and a half hours. One was uh, on dynamic programming. One was uh, on uh, minimal spanning trees from graphs. And one was a pit masking on graphs kind of question. So all three were hard on lead code, like uh, medium hard, but mostly hard. And uh, yeah, so there was a, uh, like I said, there was a time constraint of one and a half hours in which you had to attempt all uh, easy as well as difficult test cases of all these three problems. So I solved all three partially. And uh, so like there are there are some test cases in which you feel like sort of do some brute force or like uh, a naive approach then you can solve, you can pass some test cases and the efficient solution passes all. So I, I solved all three partially. Okay, so that's how you get shortlisted for Uber. And moving towards your interview round, uh, can you share the experience of your interview round? What happened there? So, um, my experience of the interview rounds was uh, that I I had two um, coding rounds and I had one uh, system design type of round. So, my first uh, interview round uh, uh, was on uh, BFS on graphs. So it was um, around hard on lead code. Uh, so it took it took me around 30 minutes uh, uh, to implement the solution along with the explanations. So uh, how I went with this is that um, I asked questions to clarify what the interviewer was trying to ask. I tried to formulate a naive approach along, while uh, explaining uh, why I took that particular approach. I um, I chose BFS and I had like a bunch of follow-up questions like why not BFS, why why not some other method and so on. So once uh, once a rough approach was, uh, once we discussed a rough approach, uh, I, um, I coded it up on a piece of paper. I, um, I wrote, uh, I suggested some test cases where it would work and uh, also mentioned about the time and space complexities. And uh, yeah, so that was my first round. Yeah, so that was about your round one. And Sondara, can you tell us the experience of a round two interview? Great. So uh, the second round was on implementing an application. So I used topological sort to implement this application and it was uh, easier than the other question, but uh, yeah, so again, I had to give explanations, time, space, complexities, uh, test cases, where it will work, where it won't work, and so on and so forth. Uh, this is definitely easier than the previous question, but I was very nervous, so I, I did fumble quite a bit, but um, yeah, I, I think in the end, we did, uh, the, both me and the interviewer were happy with uh, the final uh, coded up solution. So uh, my last round at Uber was uh, uh, a somewhat system design oriented round. So uh, it was it was quite straightforward. Like it was a very high level uh, question, and we just had to suggest how we would implement it using ideas from data structures and algorithms. And uh, I decided to use hash maps for the the design. And yeah, so it it didn't involve much of databases or operating systems or things like that so uh yeah it was it was quite straightforward yeah so that's how you got selected for uber and and so that i can you give some tips and tricks for your juniors to help them out like what they should do in the interviews what they should not do okay so uh first uh i'll talk about uh my my experience with the preparation part of Uber. So um, I think it's very important that you are consistent in your practice. So try not to get overwhelmed because when you're preparing for internships, it's very easy to get in, get sucked into this rabbit hole of 
you know the number of like so there's so many different questions or so many different topics so i would suggest try to go topic wise try to cover uh, uh, a lot of depth in important topics like uh, dynamic programming graphs uh, binary search and so on and maybe things like arrays uh, or like general math maybe you can uh, 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 practice less on those topics so my other uh, tip would be to uh, do some contests on code forces uh, 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 code chef and stuff because it gives you that time pressure uh, that you will find in coding down so a lot, a lot of times when when um, i was just solving questions by myself i used to take a lot more time than what uh, i would end up getting in like a proper coding round so if you if you do these time contests they kind of help you be calm and collected during the actual coding rounds because they give you like a sense of how quickly you code and things like that and uh, so uh, that's for the preparation for the coding round uh, also make sure you always check the solution to see the best method so even though you might have passed all the test cases uh, for a particular question it might be the case that there might be better solutions that uh, that uh, uh, are more optimal than your approach so make sure you do check those out uh, so for the interviews uh, make sure you uh, prepare coding on uh, either google docs or a piece of paper so google usually uses google docs for interviews and uh, in my case i had to do it on a piece of paper so that was a bit weird because i was used to kind of auto complete and things like that so make sure you practice it on where you're going to be coding during your interviews also make sure to explain as you write code this is very very important because a lot of times even if you don't get the exact approach right if you are able to explain your thought process and come to a solution that's uh, nearly correct and something that the interviewer understands then you're much more likely to um, uh, get selected so uh, do make sure just try to like um, uh, do do it to a mock interview with like a, a, a friend or something like that so that you're forced to speak while coding and uh, yeah so that would be my tips for uh, 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 uber and coding related uh, internships yeah okay. and one more thing guys if you have the videos there then make sure to subscribe the channel and like the videos and if you have any doubts you can ask out in the comment section we will surely reply you and thank you sondarya for being with us we had a very good experience with you Thank you for having me. Thanks a lot.